In today's video, we're going to walk through how to prepare and start up the Questech Solutions Glass Track Sight Glass. Frequently asked questions. I'm not able to view the gauge glass. It appears it has been painted. Under the yellow caution tape, there is a perforated cushion. This part protects the glass from dirt, dust, and debris until the gauge is ready to be placed in service. Pry up one edge and remove the perforated insert to expose the glass. My valve unions are leaking. The unions are a ground metal joint. Increase the torque to the specified MSS-SP-25 specification to suggested 120 foot-pounds minimum on the 3 quarter inch, 3,000 pound class union. Use a recommended long 36 inch pipe wrench. If the union continues to leak, consult the factory. Do I need to retorque the sight glass before putting it into service? Yes, all gauges are shipped with a torque tag. Follow the torque procedure listed on the torque tag. My process liquid is clear in the gauge and tough to view using a transparent type gauge. We suggest using a C-level LED illuminator to add illumination to the back of the gauge to increase level viewing. I need a spare glass lens and gasket for my level gauge. Please refer to page 24 of the Glass Track catalog, which provides kits and glass for gauges. First, let's cover the preparation. Start by observing and removing the yellow caution tape. Under the caution tape is a perforated cushion. Remove the perforated cushion. Next, we'll move on to retorquing the fasteners. Identify the pressure series of the sight glass by locating the model number on the nameplate. Locate the torque tag wired to the sight glass. Low equals low pressure, torque value 20 foot-pounds. M equals medium pressure, torque value 32 foot-pounds. H equals high pressure, torque value 40 foot-pounds. Using a calibrated torque wrench, follow the sequence on the torque tag. Start in the middle of the sections working outward. Retorque the nuts to the appropriate value. Now let's move on to startup. Questet glass track process gauges are typically provided as an assembly with upper and lower gauge valves. These gauge valves are equipped with safety ball checks as a standard feature. Gauge valves have three positions. One, fully open. Two, fully closed. And three, startup position. Similar to a common gate valve, gauge valve position may be determined visually by the rising stem design. Step 1. Confirm both the upper and lower gauge valves are in the fully closed position. Step 2. Using a paint marker with a contrasting color, mark a line at the 12 o'clock position on the upper and lower valve hand wheel. Step 3. Starting with the upper valve, slowly open the valve counterclockwise, stopping at the 8 o'clock position. Step 4. Slowly open the lower gauge valve counterclockwise, stopping at the 8 o'clock position. Step 5. Allow the liquid level to rise inside the gauge chamber. Step 6. Once the liquid level has stopped rising and stabilized with the vessel liquid level, the gauge valves can be adjusted to the fully open position. Step 7. Rotate the hand wheel counterclockwise until the hand wheel stops. The sight glass is now in service. Following these steps will avoid false level indications due to unintended ball check seating. If the gauge valves are immediately fully opened, the liquid level through the valve will cause the ball check to seat. The partially open 8 o'clock startup position of the gauge valve stops the ball check from contacting the ball seat. If you have any questions, please contact us at www.questtechsolutions.com or contact your local channel partner to order your engineered solutions designed with care by Questtech Solutions.